I've replaced my 48 inch C10 with the new LG C2 42 inch OLED TV, and I think it's gonna be the better size for most people using it as a computer monitor. Compared to the 48 inch, it will fit better on most desks, being about 14 centimeters thinner and eight centimeters shorter, which is noticeably smaller in person. The higher density 105 pixels per inch is close to a 27 inch 1440p display, which means it can sit on shorter depth desks closer to your face without impacting quality. And with its lighter construction, it's almost half the weight of that older 48 inch, which is a huge convenience improvement when just moving it around. But if you already have one of these older 48 inch TVs, I don't think it was worth the price to upgrade. Using a deeper desk to keep the screen an extra 10 centimeters away makes it practically have the same field of view. The OLED panel looks just as great as it did before, but it also still has that not so great subpixel layout that can cause color fringing and affect text quality. And it still has the very annoying aggressive ABSL causing constant brightness dimming during idle tasks that I couldn't stand and ended up disabling in service mode and it still acts and operates like a smart TV, if you like that or not. Hi, I'm David, and while I think this LG C242 is the best so far in terms of size to use as a computer monitor, feature-wise, it really hasn't improved much from the two-year-old C10. With the 42-inch version, they've swapped to these plastic legs that are a little better for computer use, with a smaller gap in the back so you can keep it closer to the back edge, and the space under the TV perfectly fits low profile peripherals for storage. But there's no tilt or height adjustment, which makes it sit too low and flat to my face for my comfort. You can wedge something under the legs to lean it back a bit, which helps, but I'm not 100% confident with how stable this is, so I'd still suggest just getting a monitor arm for better ergonomics. The lighter weight means you could probably get away with a cheaper arm solution, but I'm continuing to use my Ergotron HX with the Vivo adapter, with some added washers to space the adapter since the back of the TV isn't completely flat. And I pushed the arm back slightly to give me some extra distance from the screen, since I'm back to using a shorter 65cm depth desk. This generation of C2s also brought ultra-wide mode, which I was initially excited for, since I do prefer to play in a smaller ultra-wide mode while PC gaming this close to the TV. And the ability to move the window position to the top, or in my preference, the bottom, is a nice improvement. But unfortunately, the supported resolutions are limited to 3840 by 1080 which is way too short, or 2560 by 1080 which scales the entire width of the display, and thus too pixelated. It does also add 3840 by 1600 but it can't be moved to the top or bottom at this resolution. So I don't see myself ever using this feature due to these limitations, whereas I'd rather just stick to adding custom resolutions such as 3440 by 1440 which unfortunately will be stuck to the middle, or my default solution to just play ultra-wide in windowed mode so I can move it to where I want and also multitask. Also, if PC gaming is your primary use case, it might be worth considering to go with the new Alienware QD OLED Ultrawides instead. There are three areas where I feel the C2 has downgraded from its predecessors. The first being the elimination of 120Hz support for BFI or black frame insertion, which I honestly never use so it's not a big deal to me, but I know other people will be disappointed with its removal. The other is a darker brightness while using the game mode picture profile. I find I need to set the OLED brightness higher at 60 in game mode versus 45 in expert dark mode to have an equivalent brightness level. Whereas on my old C10, 45 brightness was the same in both modes. Ratings review of the C2 42 inch measures a similar result, and I assume LG's reasoning is to minimize ABL or burn-in. But regardless, this lower brightness hasn't been an issue for me since 60 OLED brightness in game mode is fine for my typical use, but it was just something I noticed. I also noticed the menus and settings tend to be a little slower on the C2, where it will hang on the spinning circle a little more. Again, not a big deal, but noticeable from my responsive C10. Other than that, there's not much else for me to say about using this LG C2 42 inch OLED TV as a computer monitor that I haven't already said in my previous videos with the LG C10 48 inch. The smaller 42 inch size is nicer, but isn't a huge change coming from my older 48 inch other than allowing me to use this shorter desk and being easier to move around. 
but nonetheless, to me it continues to look like one of the best single display solutions for productivity and entertainment, at least for now. But hope you guys enjoyed this one, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.